Hello, in four-part sectional harmony we may use extended and altered intermediate dominant chords to harmonize non-chordal or non-diatonic notes in the lead part. In this tutorial I'll illustrate this arranging technique with two examples. These examples are discussed in more detail in my book Arranging by Examples, the practical guide to jazz and pop orchestra arranging, available in the webshop. As was the case in the previous 4-part sectional harmony examples, we start the process from a given lead part and basic harmony in the rhythm section. This is a 4 measures long swing jazz phrase. The harmony is a standard 2-5-1 cadence. In the lead part we find multiple non-chordal notes, marked in yellow, and, given that the key is B-flat major, two non-diatonic pitches, shown in orange. These include a blue note lowered 7A flat and a lowered 6th degree G flat. We'll use a subset of harmonization techniques from earlier episodes for the non-chordal notes in the lead. I'll illustrate these in the score example. The opening measure uses a set of diatonic parallel chords, as introduced in episode 7 from this series. These are written in close voicing and second or third inversion position. Next, there are many occurrences of the intermediate dominant chords from episode 1 here written as the equivalent diminished 7th chord voicing. In measure 1 there is also the connection of two minor 7th chords when the lead is stepwise moving through the 6-7 degrees, a case discussed in episode 5. The example contains three voicings with substitute chords, a technique introduced in episode 3. In measure 1 the E flat major 7 is equivalent to the C minor 9 chord. In measure 3 we use the F sus 9 chord as a voicing of C minor 7 over F in the bass. And the final measure has the D minor 7 as the equivalent of the B flat major 9 chord. Returning to the diatonic parallel chords in the ascending opening we note the exact parallel F major 7 chord and hence the use of the E natural in part 4, in order to prevent the occurrence of the tritone interval A. E flat. This was also discussed in episode 7. And finally we note the acceptable repeated notes from episode 9 at the end of the phrase in the lower parts. Now it's time to introduce the new technique, the harmonization with extended and altered dominant chords. In this example we will use these to harmonize the two non-diatonic pitches. The A flat in the lead in measure 3 is harmonized with the intermediate C7 with flat 9 and flat 13. The lowered 6th degree G flat in measure 4 is harmonized with the dominant chord F7 flat 9. This yields the following closed voicing 4 part sectional harmony setting. Let's inspect the individual parts and the combination of outer parts with the many consonant intervals. We may apply an alternative harmonization of example 1. Let's concentrate on the modifications. 
In the opening measure, we replace a number of diatonic parallel chords with the standard intermediate dominant chord G7 flat 9, here written as B diminished 7. In measure 3, we apply the new technique, creating a sequence of two altered extended dominant chords, G7 altered and C7 flat 9 flat 13. We close the phrase with three exact parallel minor 7 chords, as discussed in episode 4. This removes the repeated notes in the lower parts. Here are the modified lower parts. Compare the character of this alternative setting with the sectional harmony from example 1. This example is included in the chapter on 4 part sectional harmony in my arranging book. Order the book from the store on my website and receive your copy within 24 hours. You'll find the link in the description below. Please subscribe to this channel in order to learn about new episodes. Like and share these videos. Support my efforts by making a donation. Visit the website for more free content, the webshop for other products and thanks for watching. <music>